Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel, Tutorial by Sir Raiman. My name is Mr. Jem Raimon Ischen, Master Teacher 2 from Escalante Central Elementary School. Click like and share if this video tutorial helps you. Don't forget to click subscribe below to keep updated for my future tutorial. For your suggestions, especially on the topic for my next tutorial, please leave your comment below. Hope you learned something in my video lessons for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Stay home and stay safe. Hello everyone! How are you today? I hope everybody is fine and safe. And welcome to our mathematics class. And our objective for this week is to solve problems involving partitive proportions. Last time we've discussed the two types of proportions. The direct proportion and the indirect proportion or inverse proportion. And this time, let's have the third type of proportion which is the partitive proportion. Partitive proportion is a type of proportion in which a whole is divided into parts according to a given ratio. So, ibig sabihin class, may isang whole or isang piraso na hahatiin mo in a particular ratio or fraction. Actually class, we have steps here to follow para ma-solve natin ang partitive proportion na problem. And here are the steps. To find a missing value in a partitive proportion, 1. Add the terms of the given ratio. 2. Divide the total by the sum of the terms. And the third is multiply each term by the value of each unit. Para maintindihan mo kung paano gamitin ang mga steps na ito, I will give you problems involving Partitive Proportion Marcelo harvested 20 pumelos and mangoes in their backyard. The ratio of the number of pumelos to the number of mangoes is 2 is to 3. How many pumelos and how many mangoes did he harvest? So, ang whole number natin dito class ay 20. Yung 20 na yan ay ang kabuuang bilang ng pumelos and mangoes na na-harvest nga ni Marcelo sa kanilang backyard. Pero, hindi natin alam kung ilan sa whole number na 20 na to ang number ng pumelo at ang number ng mangoes. Pero, binigyan tayo dito ng ratio na 2 is to 3. So, sa 20 na ito class, ang ratio daw ng pumelo sa mango ay 2 is to 3. Through this given data class, masasolve natin kung ilan ba talaga ang pumelo at ilan ba talaga ang mangas na na-harvest ni Marcelo sa kanilang backyard. So again, we are given here ratio na 2 is to 3. Yung 2 na ito class ang nagre-represent ng pumelo. Kasi dito, unang naibigay ang pumelo. Pangalawa ang mango. So ang ibig sabihin, ang 3 na to stands for the number of mangoes. So, in every two pumelo, there will be three number of mangoes harvested by Marcelo. Now, para malaman talaga natin kung ilan ba talaga ang number ng pumelo at saka number ng mangoes sa 20 na prutas na na-harvest ni Marcelo sa kanilang backyard, gagamitin natin yung step na naibigay ko kanina. Okay, number one. Yung first step natin dito ay add the terms of the given ratio. Ano nga yung ratio na ibigay sa problem na to? Yes, yung 2 is to 3. So yung ratio na yan class ay i-add natin. So ito yon 2 plus 3. So, 2 plus 3, how much? Yes, that's 5. That's the first step. Let's move on to the second step. Second step is divide the total by the sum of the terms. So, hahatiin daw natin yung whole number na 20 class sa nasolve natin ng sum of terms which is 5 kanina. So, ito yung class. Yung 20 na yan, okay, hahatiin natin sa 5. Ito. I-divide natin sa 5. Yan. And then, 20 divided by 5 will give you very good. 4. So, nasa third step na tayo. Third step. 
multiply each term by the value of each unit. So, ito yung mga term natin class, di ba? 2 at saka yung 3. Imo-multiply natin ito, ang bawat isang term na to, sa 4. Okay? So, ito yung 4 natin. So, let's have first the pumelo. Yung 2 pumelo na yan, imo-multiply natin sa 4. So, 2 times 4 ay magiging 8. So, ibig sabihin, yung number of pumelo sa 20 na prutas na na-harvest ni Marcelo ay 8 lahat. Okay, next. Let's have 3. Yung 3 na yan, class, that stands for mangoes, will be multiplied by 4 also. So, that's 3 times 4. So, how much is 3 times 4? Very good. 12. So, ang ibig sabihin, 12 mangoes ang na-harvest ni Marcelo. Now, paano natin ma check kung tama yung sagot natin? Kapag na-add yung 8 na to at saka yung 12 na to na mangoes, ang kabuan yan ay 20. Okay? So, 8 plus 12, how much? Yes, 20. So, ang ibig sabihin, 8 talaga yung pumelo at 12 ang mangoes na na-harvest ni Marcelo sa kanilang backyard. Okay? So, yan kung paano natin hinati ang na-harvest ni Marcelo na 20 fruits in all. Nakuha nyo, class? Okay. So, for you to solve it correctly, you have to take note of the steps how we solve this kind of problem, which involves partitive proportion. Now, let's have another example para mas klaro sa inyo how to solve problems involving partitive proportion. Let's have this problem. The ratio of the tomatoes to okra is 1 is to 4. There are 25 fruits and vegetables. How many are tomatoes? So, if you see this problem, of course, this refers to partitive proportion. Binigyan ka kasi dito class ng whole. Yung whole number na to na 25, kabuang bilang yan ng number of fruits and vegetables. Okay? Pero, paano natin hahatiin yung 25 na yan? Of course, gagamitin natin yung ratio na 1 is to 4 para mahati nga yung 25 na whole number na yan. Okay? So, ang 1 is to 4 na ito, 1 stands for number of tomato. No? Kasi tomato yung una na naibigay dito na statement. Pangalawa ang 4 which is okra. Okay? So, every 1 tomato, merong 4 na okra. Okay? So now, can you still remember the steps? In solving problems involving partitive proportion? Number one, add the terms of the given ratio. Anong i-add natin? Yes, itong dalawang to. Yung one at saka yung four, i-add natin yan. And that will equal to five. Very good. Next step. Yes, very good. I-divide na natin yung whole number na 25 sa sum ng ratio natin, which is 5. So, ibig sabihin, ang 25 na yan, i-divide natin sa 5, which is, yes, will give you 5 also. 25 divided by 5 is 5. Next, third step and the final step. Yes, multiply the term by the value of each unit. Now, since tomato lang naman ang hinahanap sa problem natin, you don't need to solve the two terms. Okay? Kung gusto mo lang naman talaga sagutan yung problem, which is tomatoes lang naman yung hinahanap natin na bilang, so ang multiply natin dito class, ang yung number lang, tomatoes lang. Sa so 1 at saka 4 na to, ano ba sa kanila ang bilang ng tomato natin? Yes, yung 1 lang. So, ito lang yung i-multiply natin sa 5 dito. So, ang 1 na yan, i-multiply natin sa 5. Yung 5 na to, galing yan sa pag-divide ng whole number at saka ng uh, sum of the ratio. So, 1 times 5 ay magiging 5. So, ang ibig sabihin, ang 5 na to, that refers to number of tomatoes. Okay? So, 
To answer the problem, how many are tomatoes? The answer would be, there are 5 tomatoes in all. Out sa 25 na prutas at vegetable na nakuha or na harvest, for example. Nakuha nyo, class? Pero kung gusto mo namang isolve yung isa pang ratio na okra, pwede din naman. I-multiply mo lang ito sa 5. So, 4 times 5, magiging 20. Diba? So, may 5 na tomato at saka may 20 na okra. 20 plus 5, 25 yan. Para kung gusto mo lang naman, siguraduhin yung sagot mo ay tama ba or hindi. Okay? Let me give you another problem para ma-practice pa yung uh, pag-solve mo ng mga problems involving partitive proportion. The ratio of ampalaya to squash is 2 is to 6. If there are 24 vegetables, how many are squash? So again, what type of proportion is this? Yes, again, this is partitive proportion. My whole number at saka yung whole number na to ay hahatiin natin dito sa ratio na ibinigay. Okay? So, yung 2 is to 6 natin dito, 2 stands for the number of, ano bang una na ibinigay dito na data? Yes, yung ampalaya. Yung ampalaya na yan ay 2 ang nagre-represent. Yung squash naman, kasi pangalawa or huli siya na na-mention, yung 6 na yan stands for squash. Okay? So, in every 2 ampalaya, there will be 6 squash in all. Pero, meron tayong 24 na bilang na vegetables. Ilan kaya dyan ang number of ampalaya at ang number ng squash given the ratio 2 is to 6? First step, yes, to add the terms in the given ratio. That's 2 plus 6, right? So, yung ratio na to class, i-add lang natin yan. 2 plus 6 ay, of course, 8 yung sagot. Another one, step 2. Step 2 would be, divide the total by the sum of the terms. Yung total na to na 24, i-divide natin yan sa 8. No? Sum of the ratio. So, divided by 8. And the quotient would be 3. Very good. 24, hahatiin sa 8, magiging 3 na lang. And the last step would be, multiply na yung term sa ating nakuhang quotient na 3. Now, sa 2 at saka 6 dito, ano yung multiply natin dyan? Of course, balik tayo sa problem. Ano ba yung tinatanong sa problem? Ilan karami yung squash? So, meaning yung squash lang ang itinatanong. So, sa 2 at saka 6 dito, ano yung squash dyan? Yes, yung 6. So, para mas madali kang mag-solve, 6 na ang multiply mo. Huwag na muna yung 2. Okay? Kasi squash nga yung itinatanong sa problem. So, yung 6 na yan, multiply natin by how much? Yes, ito. Ito plus. So, multiply natin yan sa 3. So, 6 times 3, how much? Yes, the answer is 18. So, ibig sabihin sa 24 na vegetables, 18 ang tomato. So, 18 yung final answer. Now, paano natin malalaman kung tama yung sagot natin? Pwede mo namang i-multiply class yung 2 dito na ang palaya sa 3 din. So, 2 times 3 ay 6, di ba? Yung 6 na yan, i-add mo sa 18. Yes, we'll give you 24. Kung 24 yung sagot, then your answer is really correct. Okay? So, another problem. The ratio of mugs to glasses to teacups is 4 is to 3 is to 2. There are 134 drinkware. How many are teacups? Yes, this is still a partitive proportion na problem. May whole number na ibinigay at may ratio na babasihan kung paano ito hahatiin. Pero this time plus, as you notice, may tatlong terms ng ating ratio. Don't worry, we will use still the same steps. Kaya lang, yun nga, may na-add lang na isang term. Tatlong terms na ang babasihan natin sa paghati ng 135. So, we have here 4 is to 3 is to 2. Now, yung 4 na to stands for yes, yung mugs. Very good. Kasi mugs kasi yung una na na-mention sa problem. Yung nasa gitna, ano ito? Yes, glasses yan. How about yung 2? Very good. Teacups naman yan. 
Ngayon, ano ba yung tinatanong sa problem? Yes, ang hahanapin natin class yung actual talaga na number ng teacups. Ito yung 2. Ilan ba talaga ang actual na number ng teacups sa 135 na drinkware? So again, as I said, we will use the same step. Number 1 step. Add the terms of the given ratio. So ano gagawin natin? Yes, yung tatlong ito class, ia-add natin yung tatlong terms na yan. 4 plus 3 plus 2. And how much is the sum? Very good. That's 9. Step number 2. Divide the total by the sum of the terms. So, ano yung total number natin? O yung whole number na ibinigay sa problem? Correct. 135. Ano ang number na i-divide natin? Yes, yung sum ng ratio class, yung 9. So, yung 135 na yan, i-divide natin sa 9 yan. So, how much is 135 divided by 9? Yes, very good. Kung hahatiin natin ang 135 sa 9, ang resulta ay 15. Next, third step. Anong isosolve natin? Ano ang multiply natin? Yung 4, yung 3, or yung 2? Balik ka sa problem. Ano nga yung tinatanong sa problem? Yes, yung teacup. So, yung teacup lang ang multiply para mas less yung time na ma-solve mo yung problem. So, yung 2 na yan, class, ang gagamitin natin sa pag-multiply ng 15. So, 2 times 15 ay 30. Very good. So, ang ibig sabihin, ang total number of teacups sa problem natin ay 30 pieces. Nakuha na, class? Okay, very good. Basta, tandaan nyo lang how to use the steps. Or tandaan nyo lang yung mga steps na ibinigay ko para masolve mo yung mga problems involving partitive proportion. Partitive proportion, may buo. May whole number na ibibigay at saka hahatiin natin ito sa given ratio din. Yan yung konsepto ng partitive proportion. Okay, that's all for today. See you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Keep safe, everyone.